but we also recognise that we, uh, we need to bring all our activities together behind propositions. So we need to take a much more integrated approach to ensure that we put the right support behind that. So, for example, we have investment funds um, from the public sector that we will match private investment. Scottish Enterprise has a fairly significant investment fund which we, we, we use for this purpose. So we want to align that with specific propositions. We want to ensure that the skills we have around helping companies um, to get investor ready and build build themselves and also attract the right talent to the right management team. We want to put all that into an integrated approach and that's what we've been doing, really looking at that. So the principles we've kind of embedded in this new approach is, is, is creating a single system for all activities that we support around um, these commercialization opportunities. So that's around building new businesses built on the back of intellectual asset programs. We're, so that's the first point. The second point is about ensuring that we have a completely embedded market-based approach. So ensuring that we understand what the market opportunity is, that the market opportunity has the right scale, um, significance, sector, uh, that we understand the dynamics, and there's a, a, a realistic proposition of building a business on the back of this. We've adopted a staged approach using a gating system. Um, not to go to the detailed approach, but essentially making sure that we make the right decisions at the right time about getting the right support around these propositions. Very importantly, and probably, probably the biggest issue is about having the right person or people to lead the opportunity, so having the right commercial champion to lead it. Um, and be that a spin-out from a university, or be that working with an existing company, or be that bringing companies together in collaboration, identifying... Uh, the personal people who are going to champion in this through, through, um, through the many hurdles that it has to overcome, including support from ourselves, is critical. Um, and then finally, the final point was about making sure we have the right entrepreneurial support, as we call it, so the right uh, support mechanisms within our own organisation agency to support these is critical. And this just kind of represents that. So um, it's not just about the core team, the programme team, as I've called it here. It's not just about... Uh, the people who are developing the technology and trying to build the company. It's about making sure we have the right support around that, so having the commercial champion in place, ensuring that we have um, the ability to bring in the right management team and support that, and we have various networks how we can do that, ensuring that we can get the right funding into the company either at the very early stage with support from ourselves and making sure that we, 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 we're convinced we can, we can bring investors at the next and later stages, ensure that they have the right high-growth support skills around that, and that high-growth support is about having the people who have the skills and experience have been out and done it uh, and can help to, to uh, achieve, um, achieve growth for the company. And, and where there are intellectual assets involved, it's about right, having the right support for that, so making sure we get them properly protected. Um, and uh, if it's about licensing, make sure we get the right, the right agreements in place. For Scottish Enterprise, another um, aspect that we um, are establishing and building on is is how we actually stimulate demand. And the reason we want to stimulate demand is because our mission is about growth. It's about growth of companies and about growth of our key sectors, and we want to focus that um, demand. So in terms of our key sectors and developing strategies for them, um, we are actively foresighting new areas and new opportunities. So one of the examples would be in the energy sector, where a key priority for Scotland is around renewables, and particularly around marine technologies. Um, and the Scottish Government is, is very keen that we, we grow that sector. I mean, we see, we see the sector for Scotland probably in the same terms that the uh, oil business has been for Scotland uh, over the course of the last 30 to 40 years. Um, so we're actively going to be going out with specific calls um, for propositions that we can get our support behind so we can focus them around, around these key areas. So be that... Um, university spin-outs, be that um, new startups led by individual entrepreneurs or be that companies that we have that want to, want to spin out new businesses um, wherever it comes from. Um, so I think, I've, I think I've kind of covered some of this. So it's about um, ensuring that we have the right company building capability behind these opportunities, so the high, high growth support, um, we can build the right management teams, we can get the right funding in. Um, and because the funding is not just um, private equity investment, it's, a, it's all about also about using our powers, for example, in terms of the R&D grants that I mentioned earlier on, um, regional selective assistance, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and just a point to 
a few successes, um, and these are th you know, companies that um, you know, have, have benefited from some of the principles that we've put, been putting in place to this new approach. Um, so, for example, uh, Agile Analytics, um, which was a spin-out from um, Edinburgh University from the School of Informatics, um, they have just literally in the last month raised over 900,000 investment from a consortium of investors. Um, the company in particular is looking at analysing behaviour, um, a crucial step in the development of drugs, so treating diseases such as um, uh, central nervous system and Alzheimer's and, and Parkinson's. Um, Biopter, um, this has been going for a little bit longer, but it's spent out from Glasgow, Caledonian. Um, they benefited from, from a proof of concept programme that we've, we've run very successfully a number of years. Um, and then uh, finally, Embedded Technology Solutions, a recent spin out from Strathclyde, um, which was supported through um, an ITI style program um, that, we, uh, that we funded. Um, they were actually spun out, only spun out last year, but they've already uh, won their first contract. Their business is in the area of condition based mining for cattle, and they've just won their first major contract um, in the UK. So, so three successes. So that's really all I wanted to say. Um, just before I go, um, by way of an advertisement, some of the things that we are doing, um, if you did get a chance to visit us down, please do. But also I could just draw your attention to um, the area we focus on in terms of innovation, and uh, in particular, um, how about the opportunity to win a £10 million prize? So the Scottish Government is putting up £10 million as an innovation prize. We believe it's probably the biggest innovation competition uh, at the moment in the world, called the Salt, it's around the Salt Air Prize, and it's a challenge to accelerate commercial development of marine energy, which is one of the key areas I mentioned. Um, it's now open for applications. So you're probably thinking, what do I have to do to win it? Well, all you have to do is to develop a technology that will generate at least 100 gigawatt of power over two years and demonstrate it in Scottish waters. So uh, if you're up for that, or you know some people who are, please apply, and you can get information from our stand. So thank you very much. Sorry, thank you.